You know, there's a lot of tools that are available for you in Skype when you look at the video capability and now with the new group video calling, you've got some great things to do with your business. And to find out about that, we have Matt Jordan joining us from his office in California. Matt, thanks for being with us today. Hey, thanks so much, Terry. Yeah, it's great to be speaking you, to you today about Skype Enterprise and some of the new functionality like group video calling. And also, since we're both big fans of the Mac platform, I thought we'd showcase the new Mac uh, Skype application that is Skype 5.0 for the Mac OS. And that's what facilitates the group video calling on uh, the Mac, as well as uh, some of the desktop collaboration I'll also show you. Yeah, you're coming through very clearly right now. Matter of fact, we can even see your friend behind your left shoulder there. Who is that friend of yours there on the wall? Yeah, that's my friend kal -El. He's always uh, right there on my shoulder watching yes, over indeed. me. Yes, Well, we're glad to have him join us. So, well, dazzle me with some of the things we can do here because I know for business, often we need to link a lot of different offices. And through a Skype manager in uh, the Skype facility, we can sign up for this. We can get group video calling for a very reasonable price. Tell me a little bit about what it does and, uh, well, just show us the stuff. Sure. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable uh, desktop screen sharing which is a functionality that's native to Skype as well. So yes, here I go. Right. Now we're seeing your picture there. It's got your picture. And then uh, now we see some uh, technical call info. It sounds like that might be important. And then we oh, see yes. something there on our Skype screen. we transform the way it is. Uh, your business works and you're moving that around. Tell us a little bit about what we're seeing now on the screen. Certainly. So what we're looking at here with the technical call information is a way to uh, troubleshoot or see a real-time statistics about a Skype-to-Skype -Skype call. So what we have here between you and I, Terry, is a Skype-to-Skype -Skype call where we're using our audio codec, which is the Silk proprietary codec developed by Skype, uh, gives us this natural, great-sounding audio. We've got great network statistics with a 20 uh, jitter and 0% uh, packet loss. UDP is our uh, the way that we're sending our packets point to point between each other in this peer-to-peer -peer architecture. So that's great. And it's also telling me statistics about uh, my CPU usage, uh, the video that I'm sending, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really good uh, from a technical perspective to, to have this available and users can do this by going into the Mac client, going to the Skype dropdown, going to preferences, and then once that is brought up, going to advanced mm -hmm. and display technical call information. And that will give you this level of information so that if you're trying to troubleshoot any call quality issues, all this is available to you. That sounds real nice, man, because I know a lot of times people will say, well, we're using this in business and we want it to work. We wonder what we can do. And uh, you're showing us right now we can look at these on the screen, study it a little bit, learn about it, and then we can know what to do to improve the quality of our call for business. That is absolutely correct, sir. And you had mentioned a little bit about um, Skype Manager. I'll switch over to our website. Okay, so now we can see the actual website here, which is very nice. We can say, look at this website. As you're showing me the Skype website, we know someone else could show uh, uh, current project reports or other websites that are relevant to their business. Websites, PowerPoint presentations, whatever it may be. Really adding to the voice and the video with this screen sharing application. That's very now, nice. I, I click on the Skype Manager application. This is our online business portal that allows a business to create their uh, business entity in the Skype ecosystem and create Skype IDs for all their employees. And once those IDs are created, then they can allocate services just like this group video calling that I'd like to show you next. Yeah, that's going to be uh, particularly good. So remember Skype Manager, we'll get through it, uh, get to it through that. Now show us what we're doing and walk us through this, what you're doing as you do it on how we get this Skype uh, uh, feature called group video calling going. Certainly. So I go back to the active window where I'm sharing my desktop so that I can show you. I click on a button right here in the upper right hand corner of my Skype client that says add people to this call. And uh, here at my home office I've got a netbook up and running so I'm going to enter in the Skype ID of that netbook. So you're requesting the person you want to see as if I were trying to reach Mary in the St. Louis office just and like I, I want to reach uh, Patty in the Los Angeles office, etc. I just plug those in. 
Yes, sir. Sorry to speak over you, but that's exactly it. Okay. Uh, just like you typed in Matthew A. Jordan to speak to me, or I spoke to you by typing in Terry Brock, I've added that contact. I'm going to click again, and that will add the additional party. And as you can see now, Terry, just by clicking on the Add People button, I can type in the Skype ID of one of my contacts. So I do so, add this netbook, and by double clicking, I now have the ability to add in this third party to our video. Yeah, and I need to accept it here, so I'm clicking accept, and it adds that. And there we are. We see you on the left side, and we can see here your, your picture. Well, when I click on that, I get the one picture, so it's very nice to manage that. And now I can see your picture on the right, a still now, picture I'm doing on the right, screen and I sharing. video I was on the doing left. screen sharing when I initiated the call, so I, I had to restart my video. You should now be seeing uh, two video images. This is my Mac where I'm waving my hand in front of. And if I turn over this way, I'm looking at my PC. Yes, indeed. We're is seeing both of seeing them. So well, that's why Terry? we get a, a double mat this way. How about that? <laughs> that's right. It's really good. Well, I can see a lot of capabilities. Matt, what are the number of people that we could put on a call like this? So you can actually get the Brady Bunch view with uh, Skype group video calling. And by that, I mean you can get nine remote participants as well as the host in a group video call with Skype. Wow, that is very nice. Nine plus the one, so a total of ten. Uh, now, of course, it would seem like it would be uh, better, and it's going to depend on bandwidth. How does that work, and how does Skype handle the bandwidth? Well, from the ground up, we've been designed to work over the public internet. And so uh, one of the things that sets Skype apart uh, in our voice over IP and video over IP technology is that we're dynamic in our bandwidth allocation. And we'll take a look at all the legs of a certain call and uh, set the audio and video sampling rates accordingly. So we could be very, we could be using HD video conferencing when it's point to point and use over a meg to get 720p point to point. But if we're in a multi party video where we use standard definition video conferencing only, then we can talk about an average between 100 and maybe 250 kilobits per leg of that call. Very nice. So the idea is still get as much bandwidth as you can uh, for practical purposes. If we're going to do, say, two, three, four uh, participants, have the uh, host and three others on there, what would you recommend as a minimum, a realistic bare minimum we need for download and upload speeds? Yeah, the bare minimum to have a really good quality video call is about 150 kilobits per second. Now, we may... Uh, take down the sample rate on a video sample rate so that we can maintain the high quality quality audio throughout the call. But uh, I think the bare minimum that I would uh, recommend a user uh, measure for is about 150 kilobits per second. Okay, and of course what you showed us before, very helpful. We can look at that technical information to make sure that it's going to work. But uh, the idea is this takes business and it really transforms it. Takes it to a new level where instead of getting four or five people that have to spend all the time, money, and effort to get them into one physical location, now we can accomplish a lot by doing Skype video with group video calling. That's absolutely correct. And within your business, within a larger ecosystem of the overall Skype community, we're enabling this really rich voice video and even desktop collaboration tool to any Skype user anywhere in the globe. Excellent. Well, Matt, we appreciate you showing us this and giving us a little demo on it. And we will look forward to seeing you many more times here on our Skype business blog in the future. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.